Class 8, Honey Dew, Chapter 4, Bibin Chowdhury's Lapse of Memory. Bibin Chowdhury's Lapse of Memory is a humorous story written by Satyajit Roy. It takes us through the journey of a man named Bibin Babu who is faced with a very unique problem where he has lost his memory of one and only incident from the year 1958 when he had a trip to Ranchi with his friend. The whole story follows all the events and his journey to find out the truth. The story begins by telling us about a man named Bibin Chowdhury. He is called Bibin Babu. He had keen interest in reading books. So every Monday after his work, he goes to Newmarket to buy books. He lived alone and he doesn't have much friends. He never wanted to waste his time in idle chatting, so he loved to read books. One such Monday, when he was at the market looking for his books, a man named Parimal Ghosh addressed him as if he knew Bibin Babu. But Bibin Babu did not recognize him. Parimal Ghosh was much surprised that Bibin Babu had not recognized him. So he told Bibin Babu that he had been with him for a week when he visited Ranchi in 1958. But Bibin Babu had never been to Ranchi. He had never gone to Ranchi. So Bibin Babu thought that the man was mistaken. Parimal Ghosh was sure that Bibin Babu knew him. He started narrating the incidents of his Ranji journey in detail. He told Bibin Babu how he had injured his knee in Hudra Falls. He told that Bibin Babu had a fall in Hudra and cut his right knee and it was Parimal Ghosh who had helped him. He then said that a person named uh, Dinesh Mukherjee was also there with them during their stay at Ranji. He also reminded Bibin Babu that he always carried a bag with his books in it on his sightseeing trips. Now Bibin Babu was confused because Parimal Ghosh knows a lot of details about Bibin Babu but he cannot remember anything said by Parimal Ghosh. So he asked Parimal Ghosh which month it was, which month they went to Ranchi. And Parimal Ghosh replied that it was the month of October. Now, Bibin Babu was more confused and said that in October 1958, he was with his friend at Kanpur. So, according to Bibin Babu, in October 1958, he was with his friend in Kanpur. But Parimal Ghosh is telling that at that time, Bibin Babu was with him in Ranchi. Bibin Babu now wanted to avoid this man because he was confusing him a lot. But Parimal Ghosh was not ready to go. He didn't stop talking. He told Bibin Babu how he had one day spoken about his lonely life. Parimal Ghosh also claims that Bibin Babu had told to him about his wife's and his brother's death. And about the fact that he had no children. So Parimal Ghosh knows a lot of personal details of Bibin Babu. But Bibin Babu was not able to recognize this man. So Bibin Babu was completely confused and he paid for his books and left the shop. Page number 62, part 2. Bibin Babu got inside his car and asked his driver Sita Ra to drive by the Ganga. He regretted having paid so much attention to a stranger. So he had been listening to a stranger for a long time and he now regrets that. Yet, uh, the incident haunted him. The incident. What was the incident? Parimal Ghosh was telling a lot of personal details about Bibin Babu and he was also talking about a trip to Ranji. Isn't it? So, this particular incident haunted him. He was a hard-working man who had a responsible job at a big firm. This uh, Bibin Babu, Bibin Babu was working in a big firm. He had a very responsible post in that particular firm. And he was a hard-working man and he was working in that particular firm for many years. And it was hard for him to believe that he could not remember such an important event of his life. And that too from six to seven years ago. So he did not want to think about what the man said, what Parimal Ghosh said about uh, the raunchy trip. 
but he could not stop doing so even though he does not want to think about what parimal ghosh said he cannot stop doing so he was again and again thinking about it the man that is parimal ghosh knew a great deal about him he even knew some intimate or personal details of bibin babu said it that is about uh, his bag of books his wife's death and his brother's insanity so bibin babu was so sure that in 1958 during the puja he was in kanpur at his friend haridas bajji's place so bibin babu thought of writing to haridas to confirm that then he remembered that haridas had left to japan a few weeks before so now there is no hope okay he cannot write to haridas because he is not at home he is not there at kanpur he has left to japan now bibin babu was so upset and disturbed he was confused he was upset he was disturbed he was so sad so bibin babu rolled up his trousers and took a look at his right knee and there was a cut mark it was difficult to remember when he had got it and parimal ghosh said he had a fall in hudro fall and he got a cut on his right knee is it so he now can see a cut mark on his right knee but he is not remembering anything about the cut mark it was very difficult for him to remember when he had got it then bibin babu thought of dinesh mugarji parimal ghosh had said that dinesh mugarji was also there with them in ranchi at that time isn't it so he thought of writing bibin babu thought of writing or oh sorry asking dinesh about it asking dinesh mugarji about the incident but what would dinesh think if bibin babu asked for a confirmation dinesh may think that bibin babu had gone mad isn't it so he completely dropped that idea bibin babu now reached his home and after dinner he settled down in his bed with his new book soon he forget he forgot ab- about everything uh, that happened on that day and he fell asleep next day bibin babu went to his office but he was completely disturbed he was thinking about the previous days incidents Before lunch Bibin Babu decided to call Dinesh Mugarji over phone. So he called Dinesh Mugarji and to Bibin Babu's surprise Dinesh confirmed that in 1958 they both went on a trip to Ranchi. Bibin Babu now got more worried. He doesn't know what to do. He felt that his head was rolling and he couldn't eat or even think about anything. he couldn't eat anything he couldn't eat his lunch bibin babu now confirmed that he was sick